back, guys, to Don't Call Me Skinny Podcast, episode 37. Coach Sarah J here with CP Fitness. I'm very excited to get back on this week with you, have a little bit of a rant session. Uh, it'll be a little bit shorter today than it was last week. So if you didn't listen to last week's episode, please go back. It's all about um, carbs and being type one type two diabetic, being insulin resistant, and a bunch of myths that surround all that shit. So I know it's a little bit longer of an episode. I did have an awesome guest with me. Coach Jenna was on with me. If you get a chance to go listen to that, highly recommend, even if you got to break it up a little bit, um, you're definitely, definitely going to want to go do that. A couple other things that I got going on, you guys, on Friday, uh, it'll be August 26th. So this airs on Wednesday and then two days after that. I am doing a masterclass around goal setting. It's called Catching Up on Your Goals. And as moms, we're constantly trying to catch up on shit, catch up on the laundry, catch catch up on the dishes, catch up on the kids' homework, catch up on cleaning the kids' room, which seems to be a never-ending battle with my youngest. Um, we're constantly trying to catch up on shit. And so I called it that because... I've noticed a lot we're doing these, people don't know what their goals are. They're trying to do 65 different things for their health and wellness, and they're getting like nowhere quickly. And then they get frustrated and then quit. So this masterclass is going to go into really good depth about how to set your goals appropriately. A lot of us, I don't even think, understand what our goals are. We have to, um, we're, we're like, do I want to look good? Do I want to feel good? Or do I want to perform good? Like these are kind of the three different variants. And it's like, we're all trying to do these things at once. And that's really counterproductive. So I'm going to help you guys figure out what that looks like. Now, this is a masterclass. So it's $9. Normally I do $19, but I'm setting this masterclass at $9 until Thursday. So you have an entire 24 hours from listening to this podcast to get into that masterclass at $9. This is a very private space. I don't talk about it anywhere else. If I choose to do a podcast on this, it's going to be far, far, far down the road. So you're not going to get the information on this podcast that I'm going to give in this masterclass. That's because it's super duper valuable. And I only want people in there that really want to know about goal setting. So if you um, want to click the link in the show notes, it's on my link tree link. It will be there for you to get into this masterclass. Again, it's $9, guys, $9. Skip a fucking Starbucks coffee this week and get into the masterclass or Shake Shack that doesn't do anything for you anyway. So again, that's the 26th. It's going to be at 10 a.m. If you cannot make the masterclasses live, any of them, you I have two other masterclasses you can still also get into and purchase, but if you cannot make them live, it doesn't matter. You can go back, you can watch this at any point in time, the masterclass, and then you can still have conversation with me about it. Like, it's not like if you're not live, you don't get to like be a part of it, right? So just note that even if you can't make it live this Friday at 10 a.m., if you are like fucking around with your goals and not really sure where the fuck you're supposed to be doing with them and how to set them, um, you're gonna want in this class. So again, that link is in the show notes. You're going to want to click the link tree. It will tell, it'll say the catching up on master, catching up on goals masterclass. You click the link and then you get into that group. That link also has multiple different ways to work with me. There's one-on-one coaching. I have um, Voxer chat for a week. So there's lots of different containers now that you can work with me. It doesn't have to be just one-on-one coaching. Um, I'm also looking at setting up like a six-week self-paced coach for you as well. So just know that there's lots of options uh, get in there, check it out. If you have questions, you can always hit me up on Instagram. You can hit me up on Facebook. I give all that information, all that stuff's in my show notes as well. If you don't know where to find me, but please, please, please just hit me up. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this week's topic. The one thing standing in your way. And we have a lot of things that we can blame when we don't reach our goals. We're busy people. We have lots going on in our lives. School's getting ready to start up. Some of us have already started in school. I really also, I'm going to apologize. I know I sound different in my headphones, but I had an adjustment done a couple weeks ago on my teeth and it's like really moving my one tooth. And so I feel like I, my 
teeth are hitting different. And so I might be a little wispy. I don't know. Could be just how I'm hearing myself. I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm apologizing if you have to listen to that too. <laughs> okay. So we have lots of things that are going on in our lives. School starting, sports starting, all the things are amping back up, right? We had this little lull of the summer where, you know, we didn't want to do anything because it was, you know, summertime and we're going to take this time. Or we're going on vacation. We can't lose weight. We're on vacation. We, right. And well, now it's like, oh, well, now the kids are starting school and and the sports are all going and it's all crazy and blah, 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 right? Blah, blah, blah. No, this is a you problem at this point. You are the thing standing in your way. You're the one saying, oh, not now, not now. I can't do this, not now. And a lot of times, part of this reason that we continuously stand in our way is because, I mean, I'm just gonna say it like it is. This shit is not fun. There is nothing fun. I continuously talk about, doing this process is the most boring thing that you can do. There's nothing exciting about counting food. There's nothing excited about going on a walk. There's nothing exciting about working out sometimes, honestly. Struggle was real for me today. Like there's a lot of things that aren't exciting about this process. Um, Weighing yourself every day, it cannot be fun at times, um, especially when the scale doesn't go your way. There are so many things that are not fun and exciting, this whole entire process seems like a joke. It's like, no, this is so stupid. I'm not doing this, right? So you can go on whatever belief you want, right? As far as how to get to this weight loss. But the unfortunate part about this is that nothing really shifts out of this realm of what weight loss actually is. You must be in a calorie deficit. I don't care how the fuck you get there. You must be in one. Oh, that's not fun and exciting. (laughs) Okay. That means you have to sacrifice things. This whole like, have your wine and lose weight too. Cool. Yeah. But bitch, you can't be drinking the whole bottle of wine. That's not fun and exciting. Okay. So you have these things like that. So, however, because it's not fun and exciting, it makes it very difficult to get a client If they are not 100% invested on making a change, it makes it very difficult, and sometimes even when they are, to get them to do the things that they need to do, right? So if I tell somebody that you have to do, you're gonna do five workouts a week and every day is gonna be different, and then your second week, that next week, it's gonna be different, and then the third week, it's gonna be different. A client might go, oh, that's good, because I get really bored with doing the same things over and over, okay? Well, uh, I hate to break it to you, but you should at minimum be doing the same shit for like eight weeks. And that's at minimum sort of kind of depending on your goals, like the same fucking exercises over and over boring, right? We don't want to do that because it's boring. So if I'm telling somebody to do the same shit for eight weeks over and over and over again, they're less likely to adhere to that than they would be if I was like, yeah, every day is going to be different for the next eight weeks. Every day is going to be a different training phase and you're going to sweat really a whole lot and you're going to be super sore. You're not going to be able to sit down to pee, right? That all of a sudden sounds enticing because it sounds like what I'm telling them to do is going to get them some magical result because they're going to be so sore and so sweaty and tired and it's going to be amazing. And now we can put that same thing into the, into the, into the food element, into the nutrition part, right? So if I have to tell people they need to eat less food or I eat more protein, really, because the average American eats like nothing when it comes to protein, unless you're in this nutrition space, okay? If I tell them that they have to eat more protein, just, you know, eat here, eat more protein, it's a much difficult, it's a much more difficult thing for them to grasp than I'm like, well... If you just eat between 12 and 3 p.m. and just eat all of your calories, right? All of a sudden now this sounds intriguing and it sounds exciting and it sounds like, oh, I'm doing something real extreme to get my weight loss. I just don't want to eat more protein. That sounds boring and dull and unfun. And it just doesn't even sound like it would work. Why? Because it's not extreme. It's not some fancy flashy thing right? So the end goal of either of these things, whether it's training or nutrition, the end goal is to get them to do what I need them to do. But a lot of people have an issue taking action when they don't think it's exciting. So you are standing in your own way because you want some fancy flashy shit instead of what 
the idea to just slowly create habits that make you feel like what you're doing over time is working. It may not feel like that up front. I literally just got off a client call on Friday. It's now Monday. I got off a client call on Friday and this client of mine I've been working with since technically I think I have to like think so middle of July, middle of July. So I've been working with her just over a month or so. And she is down like 20, now I think as of this morning, like almost 25 pounds. And well, let's see, four weeks plus she did my challenge. So about eight weeks, she's down almost 25 pounds. Eating more food than she ever has on a quote unquote diet. Doing things very, very slowly, slowly increasing her food. And she's down 25 pounds. And the first thing that she said to me, well, one of the first things that she said to me on our call was this. I've never felt like the thing that I did, I could do forever until I met you. And this is how we're doing it. And I feel like I could do this and live like this forever because I don't have to say no to everything. I just have to know when enough is enough. And I've had my moment and my portion and my whatever, and I move on. I don't have to say no. I can say no. And I, she said, I feel like I can say no if I don't want something now, instead of not being allowed to have the thing, right? So I'm giving her control back very slowly over herself, over her food. And she's down almost 25 pounds in like eight weeks. That's the magic pill. That's the magic of it all. I'm not having her eat some fancy window uh, of time. I'm not having her, you know, do crazy things at the gym. In fact, right now she's just doing like some body weight things because we're kind of doing some stuff with her hip and lower back, but she's getting some relief from her lower back right now. And then, and then, you know, we just started to add a little bit of upper body work. That's all we've done. And she's using, you know, small weights at home. This is nothing extreme. She's not going to the gym for 65 hours a week or, 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 and I'm not like telling her to eat in like a two hour window. There, there's nothing that I'm telling her to do that is flashy. Nothing. It's not exciting. It's fucking boring. Everything that we're doing. You want to know what it is exciting though? The way she gets to feel as she's doing these things, as these habits continually stack for her, she's getting control over it again. And that feeling beats anything about what the scale says, about how she feels about herself when she looks in the mirror. I mean, it does say something about that, but just the feeling of having control over what she's doing is worth it, all of it. That makes it worth it. And that's why oftentimes when we do these fucking flashy things, they don't last. This client of mine has tried everything under the sun for, for losing weight, everything under the sun, everything. And nothing stick. Nothing was uh, sticking for her. Nothing worked for her. Everything. And I again, I'm going to reiterate, if you lose the weight, but you gain it back, it didn't work. Your weight loss didn't work. You lost weight. You, you weren't able to maintain it. And most of the time, everything that's super duper flashy doesn't stick. It doesn't stick. Healthy is boring. Doing the boring things is what's going to get shit to stick not the flashy shit. That's why you get subpar results with flashy shit. They're not maintainable. You cannot do it long enough. It doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Very few people can live in a true ketosis state forever. Like, I don't know many people that don't like cake. I'm just sorry. I don't. Some people thrive on it. Some people love it. I know one girl that I've, I've, I followed for a while who uh, is still keto. She's been keto now probably I think like three or four years. She's lost a shit ton of weight and she's still keto and she thrives on keto, keto, but she's not your norm. And I think that it would beg to say that probably what she does isn't flashy either. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's not this fun and exciting thing that she does. She just eats differently. So what this client is finally learning is the fact that she can do the boring things to get the results that she feels like are already going to serve her more than the flashy thing that didn't serve her. She stood in her way too long. 
she said, I'm just going to keep self-sabotaging myself. (laughs) I'm just going to keep doing these flashy things that I know aren't going to work. How much money have you spent on flashy shit? I know a lot of people who have spent a lot of money on flashy shit. I know a lot of people who buy the Optavia fucking food, which is like literally like $400 a month or some ridiculous shit like that. If you are eating $400 a month of food, I'll say it again, hire a coach that fucking knows what the fuck they're doing. I don't care if it's me. I can... If you don't know any coaches I and you don't like me or don't want to hire me, I'm fine with that. I will hook you up. I know 25 other coaches that would be happy to help you if you get along with them better. Because for me, this is not a money grab. It's not a money thing. It's a helping thing. It's a helping thing. I crave and desire to help women get off these fad diets that they waste money on, that they waste time on, that are flashy, that are purposeless, that do not serve them, that do not help them. Do you think Atavia gives a fuck shit about you? They don't care about you. They don't care. This call that I had on Friday with this client, we spent 40 minutes together talking on the, on the call about what? All sorts of stuff. Is Optavia getting on the phone call with you every however much you want during a month to have a conversation with you just to check in and make sure everything's well and everything's good? At the very bottom of my client's check-in list, there is a schedule a call with me. If they need to schedule a call, they click the link, they schedule the call. We get on a call. And no, I'm not a therapist. I'm not a whatever. You have to stay inside with your scope. I can be a listener though. I mean, and honestly, what we really kind of talked about was what we talked about during our stress, during my stress master class, which if you didn't get that, you can still get in that. Like I said, at the beginning of the show, you can still get in those things. I don't think people realize how much stress affects their weight loss journey. It's fucking insane. And I don't even think people understand that our body needs stress and all sorts of stuff and where our stress even is coming from. I had, I had another person that joined in my master class that showed me her little stress wheel that we worked on. And she took that to her therapy appointment and worked on that with her therapist. Hell yeah. She's not even a one-on-one client of mine. But when I sit here and say that I, I'm here to serve people, I'm here to help people, that is my desire. That is legit my desire to serve and help people. I help that person even though she's not my client. Why? Because she's in my fucking world and I care about her. I want her to do well for herself. When you keep standing in your way because you're like, I can't hire a coach. I don't need one. I know what to do. If you knew what to do, you wouldn't keep doing the flashy shit that doesn't work. If you knew what to do, you would know that it's boring things that get you the results. And don't get me wrong, guys. I was not any different. I can sit here and preach and preach and preach. But understand, I did the flashy shit too. I spent the money on the Weight Watchers and the fucking teas and shakes that made me poop my brains out. I did that. I did all of that. I did the low calorie, high cardio, spin your wheels some more. I sat in my way for the longest time. I couldn't get out of my own way. When you go to therapy, you hire a therapist. That's normal. That makes sense. And if you think, is therapy boring work? Yeah. That shit's boring too. It's not exciting or flashy or fun. It can be very draining actually. But it's boring. There's nothing exciting about therapy. There's a reason why. If it's working, it's probably not fun and exciting. It's probably very difficult, hard, and boring. There's a reason why it is that way. So you need to get out of your own way. You need to stop standing in the way of yourself. You have to start doing the boring work. If you don't know what the boring work is, I talk about it all the time. And the hard part here, guys, is that if you know what you're supposed to be doing and you're not doing it, you need to ask yourself, why am I not doing it? Why am I unable to commit to myself? And at that point, why am I not investing in myself and hiring somebody to help me? Again, I don't care if you don't, if you don't hire me, I don't care. There's a gazillion other coaches in the world. But as we talked about with coach Jenna last week, you have a coach that's telling you to not do this and not do that and not do this and not do that and not do this. Cut out this food. Don't do that. Eat 1300 calories while you're training for a marathon. (sighs) Uh, red flag. That's a red flag. And you need to go find a different coach. And you need to be interviewing your coaches just like they're interviewing you. When I get on a call with a client, 
I'm asking questions to know, is this person even committed to wanting to do this? Because I don't want to have to pull or trick anybody into doing coaching. If I have to do that, you're going to be less compliant, hence the boring work. I don't want to have to convince you just to eat. Hey, we're just going to work on protein this week. Oh, that's boring. I know. But remember when you called me and you said, hey, I want to get on this call with you and I want to hire you as your coach. And then you hired me and now you want my help because you know I know what I'm doing. You're going to just have to work on that protein this week. Fun? No. Exciting? No. Effective? Yes. And time and time again, more recently, I'm having clients come back and say, man, this is so doable. The way you do this is so doable. I never thought this way would work. Well, that's because this is not what is talked about. This is not exciting stuff. So why would it work? It's not easy to adhere to. It's not fun and exciting to adhere to. But are you showing up for yourself or are you standing the fuck in your own way? If you are not progressing towards your goals, if you're not doing things, regardless of whether it's doing things on your own or hiring somebody to help you, you're standing in your own way. You're not showing up for yourself. You're not doing the work, boring or not. This process is unfun. Now, there are things that come along this process that make it really fun. I got off that call with that client and honestly, it made me feel like a million dollars because I was helping her. When I got the message from that other lady that had joined up in my master class, I felt like a million dollars because I was helping her. So if you're looking for help because you actually don't actually know what you're supposed to be doing, join in my goals uh, master class. That's a great way to start. What is your goal? Where are you? What are you trying to achieve? Are you trying just to get healthy and feel good? Are you trying to look good? Or are you trying to perform well? Like, where do you fall on that line? And how do you know? And, and is what you're doing currently achieving or working towards that goal? Or are you completely going against yourself? This is legitimately the reason I came to this entire thing was because between this podcast and the masterclass, I saw a post on Facebook again that was like, I'm training for a marathon. I'm trying to build a booty and I'm trying to lose weight. And my trainer set me to 1,350 calories. Okay, well, sister girl, you're doing three fucking things there that don't even line up. They don't make sense. And you're doing it and whatever coach you hired, you need to fire her, him, whoever. Hire a new coach who knows what the fuck they're doing. You're literally working against yourself. And again, you're not doing it in a very boring way, which would probably mean tracking your food, eating enough protein, getting in enough recovery. How are you training for your marathon? Like all these things, nothing about that is fun and exciting. It is all boring. But at the same time, you can't be training for three different goals at one time. Like pick one and go for it. You want to build a booty? Great, let's go. You want to run a marathon? Let's go. You want to lose fat? Let's go. You can't do it all though. And when you are going towards those goals, what you're doing to get there is fucking boring. It is boring, boring. So on that note, that's where I'm going to leave it. You need to know, are you standing in the way of yourself? Are you showing up? If you're standing in the way of yourself, sit the fuck down, get out the way and make, take some action, do something, do the boring work, do it over time, knowing that this is a long process and however long you think it's going to take you to get there, it's going to take you twice as long. Go back and listen to that podcast. It's like four or so back. Whatever you think is going to take you two months is going to take you two years. So get with it. So again, you guys can find me at Bet Wife Fit Mom on Facebook. You, I know it's like an abrupt end right there. Pshaw. Sorry, that's Instagram, by the way, too. Uh, Vet Wife Fit Mom on Instagram. You can find me at Sarah J. Krieger on Facebook. Click the links, you guys. Get into that goals masterclass, catching up on your goals. Moms, ladies, we're always trying to play catch up. It's time to catch up something for you. Catch up on something for yourself. Get into the boring shit. That's where the magic is. Not in the flashy shit, okay? So you can find me in those places. Guys, the links are all going to be in the show notes. Click the link tree. There's a, a goal uh, masterclass, um, catching up on your goals masterclass link. You click the link. And again, that's going to be $9 until tomorrow when this airs, because this airs on Wednesday. So it'll be $9 until Thursday. 
And then masterclass is Friday, 10 a.m. You do not have to be there again. You can join in whenever you need to and go back and communicate with me throughout that replay. And then, you know, we can conversate about whatever that you need to. And then there's other multiple ways that you can also work with me. So if you are feeling like you're stuck, you can even um, get on a strategy call with me and we can talk through that with you. What does that look like for you? Are you working towards your goals properly? Are you standing in the way of yourself or are you doing the boring shit? That's not, you know, going to be very exciting, but it's going to get you where you want to go. So that's for you to consider and think about. And as always, remember that every day is a new day to do better, be better and begin again.